Becoming Kate. So today on Becoming Kate, I'm gonna show you my new makeup routine. It's still fairly simple. I'm still like a very lazy girl. Like I don't do a lot of things. Like as you can see, I don't do a lot to my hair. Like I just kind of do me and it seems to work for me. So um, yeah, I wanna invite you guys on it, uh, my little video journey. I'm not a beauty guru, nor do I claim to be one. Um, it's literally just this is what I do. This is my way of doing it. I like to do my own makeup Like I'm very specific about the products that I use um, and that I like so With that said the first thing I apply is this cute little thing called pixie Face balm pixie rose face balm. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it's like really shiny because I'm using natural light by the window But yeah, pix it's called rose flash balm. I literally take a dab a little bit on my fingers. Guys, I'm primal. I don't use like a whole bunch of brushes and shit. Like, I just don't. Um, I got this as a sample at Target. Then, this is my, oh God, I love this stuff. This is vegan. This is the shit for me, um, makeup wise. It's great for me. It's oil free. It's the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation. It's 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free. Um, this I sought out because this is something that I definitely need. Um, it's oil free, anti shine, plus a satin finish. So it gives you like a little bit of softness, but no sheen. So you're not like glistening in the sun. So you guys can kind of, let's see if it'll adjust. Yeah, you can see that. It's such a cute little bottle. And mine's really dirty. <laughs> I'm going to show you like how dirty it is. The top, but it comes, just ignore that. But it comes with this cute, oh, that's so gross. But it comes with this cute little pump top like this. So it's easy to control because I can't do when it's a squeeze tube because I just squeeze way too much. So I just take my finger or my hand like this and I'll show you guys the coloring for me. Like this is me squeezing a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so then it just looks like that on my skin, which is great. It's like a perfect shade of brown for me because I'm a brown mocha baby, okay? Um. So then, God, my makeup stuff is so like dirty right now. Excuse me. This was an impromptu video and I just thought like, hey, maybe they wanna know. Um, so then I just take my finger, like I said, super primal, and I'll show you guys, I'll get close. And as you can see, I have like some discoloration here from pimples. I have a little pimple here, a little pimple here from my period. Um, but overall my skin's looking okay. I had a huge breakout a little while ago like I told you guys before so this is the aftermath of that. There's no pimples here. It's just discoloration, hyperpigmentation. We're just gonna cover that up with this bad boy. So I just dot a little bit into places that I think it should go. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm not a guru. This is just how I apply my makeup. So I'm gonna do, I'm using the camera thingy over here to like see instead of a mirror but I'm just gonna dab it into my skin now as you can see it's like super light but it's buildable so I could go in with another round oh, my eye. I'm not doing that today cuz it's just too much I don't need that um, some people will probably be like oh it's too light or oh it's too this I'm like, okay well, it's not your face um, it's just enough like it's just enough I don't like cakey heavy looking makeup now, my baby, my favorite. I love Milk Makeup. Oh my God, I love their stuff. It's amazing. Um, they are also a vegan, cruelty-free brand. Um, I use their Flex Concealer in medium. I'm sorry, I'm still using, I need a mirror. I should have a mirror instead of trying to do this in the camera thingy. But I just do it here and like a little bit on those darker parts where I feel like, mm, maybe. Like I said, I'm not doing this to like show you guys like, Here's how to apply makeup, because I don't freaking know really, obviously. I'm just using my beauty blender again to dab that into place. Wah, bah, bah. It's a very light, very minimal coverage look. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I love it. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Normally, I will set my face with a powder, um, and I'll show you which one I use. I'm not gonna do that today, but I will show you guys. Just because it's kind of hot outside and I just don't want a whole bunch of makeup on my face. But what I do use is my tried and true that I've been using for years, like since I started my YouTube channel. Whoa. Um, and this is also a vegan cruelty free brand and it's very natural. Like the actual makeup of the, the actual makeup of the makeup is natural. And this is Alima Pure. Um, and it's their powder foundations, uh, the satin matte foundation in warm five. 
Um, this stuff, as you can see, <laughs> I run through this, it's gone. Like there's like a wisp, like a sand, a dusting still left, barely. Um, but I usually apply it with this Kabuki brush that also has some blush on it. Um, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, okay. Let's get on to the cute stuff. I found this really awesome palette that I love. Um, it's not vegan, I don't think, or maybe it is, I don't know, but it's definitely not tested on animals. And it's called Jour, Jour? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, like I said, I don't think it's vegan, but it's definitely, I don't test on animals. It has the little bunny on the back. It shows that, and it says it, so. That means it's real. Um, but yeah, it has these cute little dragonflies and stuff on it. It's pink. Like, I am a sucker for cute things. So this obviously had to come home with me. It's so pretty. Like, literally the perfect colors for me. I love pink things. I love, like, pastel things. Like, this is my color palette for blush, period. And I use some of them for shadows as well. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to use that same Kabuki brush that I used earlier, which I should probably not use for blush. So, same brush as earlier, my little kabuki brush. I'm gonna go very light today because I'm doing other things besides, like I'm filming other things today. I'm gonna use this natural one. It's called um, Marigold, this middle one. It's very natural, neutral color because I'm gonna be changing my outfit. So I'm just gonna dab it in there like that. Got a little bit, ooh, a little color transfer. And then, look at that. Ugh, it's so cute, I just love it. I love the color payoff of this because it's not like super heavy. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, the next thing I use, I'm gonna use this my Milk Mascara. Yes, love this. I get this as a sample at Sephora, but I really like it. Um, I'm just, it's almost pretty much gone, but I'm just showing you guys a little bit like that. Well, I don't want like a lot of lashes right now, so I'm only gonna do one swipe but I like a more natural look, so that's just me. So yay for pretty eyelashes, I love that. Next, I'm gonna use my same, my Kush Clear Brow Gel. See, the Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow, Clear Brow Gel. Tidy these puppies up, cause I mean, I have the other one in, I think it's in Kush or Dutch or something. And it works really well when I'm trying to go out, but this is a daytime look, very natural look. So I just brush up my eyebrows like this and then I top them off, make them nice and even at the top, Shoop, like that. Um, last thing I'm gonna apply, or actually, second to last thing I'm gonna apply is my Kaja. This is not vegan. This stuff is just literally like straight from like the drugstore kind of stuff, but it's amazing. The color payoff is beautiful. I'm gonna use the lightest pink, or the second pink one, like this. It's super sparkly. I love the sparkles in here. And this is the last one. I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm just gonna put it on my lid. And I'm doing this totally out of order, but as I said, this is just me. Like, in reality, we're not all beauty gurus, and we don't all apply makeup the same, because some of us are regular girls who have no experience, okay, like me. So I'm just putting a little bit like that. Mm. Yes, that is a shit. And then I'm gonna also take a little bit of it and put it underneath here, like this. Put it underneath my eye, like that in the corners, just to give a little popping. Yes, wow, I put way too much. Okay, yep. I have this really cute stamp from Milk makeup, like this. Oh, I love it. It's a heart. Freaking, you can't even see, you're not gonna be able to see it until I Put on my face, but I like to do this every once in a while. I think it's really cute. Boop. Just a little added cutie pie love. Um, yeah, super cute little tattoo. And then last thing I'm gonna apply is my Pony Effect um, lip gloss. It's one of my favorite shades. It's the shade Delight. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little here, like that on my lips together and then top it off with my Ulta Beauty juice infused oil. This is probably old as shit. Who knows what year this came out? I don't know. And yeah. 
there's that. I forgot that. So I'm gonna also add this awesome, this is old for me and it's like totally destroyed, but I love this milk highlighter. Um, it's also milk, it used to say milk, but now it's like no, no. Um, but it's their highlighter and it's in Lit. It's super natural, um, but still, well, still really pretty. So I'm just putting a little bit in the places where I like to have it, a little bit of highlight, especially my nose. Yeah, I like highlight on my nose and like on my cheeks and stuff. And mind you guys, like this is me applying makeup. Imagine if someone who really knew what they were doing like did this, the sh will be popping. There we go, okay, yes, there it is. So this is my cute kawaii look for today. I love it, I think it's really cute. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is literally the most basic of makeup stuff, but if you like my products, if you like the stuff, go try it. I'm not endorsed by any of these peeps. It's just stuff that I like and I just want to share with you guys. But yeah, so thank you Kawaii fans. Thank you Katie fans. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching Becoming Kate. I love you so much. See ya. Bye.